What's up, everybody? It's Mr. You Know Who from XMI Gaming. And today, guys, I'm bringing you my tutorial on how to reassign saves using the PlayStation 4 Save Wizard. So in my previous video, I talked about the new feature that was just added on Friday, which is the resign feature, which allows you to reassign saves to your profile. Right now, I'm going to show you guys how to reassign saves to your profile. So, if you didn't do the update, go ahead and do the update. And once the update is complete, you can now be able to reassign saves to your profile. So, let's open up the PlayStation 4 Save Wizard. Just one second, please. It's going to open. Now, do keep in mind that you need to do the update. Once the update is complete, then you will see the new feature added. So, let me move this over. So as you guys can see, here's the new build and here's the new feature. Now, do keep in mind, like I said before, make sure your profile is set up. Now, if you do the update, your profile will still be there after the update, so you're good to go. But if you don't have a profile set up, you cannot use this feature yet. So let's go to my saves, right? Let's go to resign. Now, I'm going to do this with Tom Clancy's Wildland, and I tested it already with the Platinum save, and it worked, and everything was good. Everything was great. I didn't get an error message, and if you do get an error message, to me, it only means two things. Either you did it wrong, or the save is corrupt, and as always, just try again, delete everything, and it should work. So, first things first, go to Import, right? Now, make sure the save is compressed or zipped. If it's not zipped or compressed, it will not recognize the save. So I'm using Tom Clancy's Wildland as an example. And let me scroll down. And here it goes. I'm just going to hit open. Then it's going to ask me to import. I may have to click on the save. Just give me one second. It tells you the version. You click on that. There you go. It hit import. Now it's going to tell you the saves that are resigned are not backed up. So again, if you have your original save, make sure you back it up and keep it in the safe spot because if something goes wrong and you wanna go back to your original, you asked out. So everything else here is self-explanatory. I'll just let you guys read it. And again, be careful if you download a save online because some saves online use DLC. Now, if you don't have the DLC, the save may not work. So, for Tom Clancy's Wildland that I used, it didn't have any DLC. It was just a regular save, and it worked. So, I'm going to hit OK. And then you see my profile is already in here. So, I'm just going to hit Apply. And as always, it's going to do the work. Just wait. And it didn't take long. It took a few minutes. Now, I would say do not try this with Final Fantasy 15. Now, I do know that a couple of people are having problems with Final Fantasy 15 and it's because the save is so big. For right now, I would recommend you guys not even try to do Final Fantasy 15 because if you do all the work, you can still experience an error and it's just not worth it at this time. Once Save Wizard works out the server issues and get it perfected, then I would say go ahead and reassign the save. But any other save should work with no problem. As you guys can see, if we sign successful, I don't hit delete the original save. I just hit OK. Now, as you guys can see, this save right here has now been added to my actual USB drive to my profile. So what I mean, if I go to computer, right, I go to my flash drive, go to my PlayStation, Go to save data. You can see, let me move this over. 2819. 2819. There you go. The save has now been added to my profile. So when I stick this, I'm oh sorry, when I stick the USB flash drive into my PlayStation 3 and copy it, it'll be recognized and it's good to go. Now, at this stage of the game, you got two options. You could just go. Like I said, stick it in your USB flash drive, try it out, you're good to go. Or what I normally do is take this save, sorry, not this save, this save in my profile, and I make a backup copy, create a new folder on my desktop saying save wizard resign, save, and you know, just keep it in a safe spot 
and try out the save. Like I said before, do make sure that you make a backup of your original save. Now also keep in mind, if you have this save already, let's say hypothetically, you copied your original save. Make sure you delete it out of your profile before you go and reassign the save because it probably will be a conflict. So again, make sure before you go and reassign this save and in your profile right here in your folder, this is not here, this is delete. Then you go back, import the save, reassign it, and it would add it to your profile and it will show right here and you're good to go. And then you just go try it out on your PlayStation 4. Now, let me close this out. And i go to cheats. Obviously, there's no cheats for it because Tom Clancy's Wildland is not even listed with cheats. So that's pretty much it when it comes to reassigning saves using the save wizard. Like I said before, in comparison to Exploder, this is a whole lot easier. It's a lot, lot, lot easier. It's not hard. It didn't take long. Exploder got too many goddamn problems. They need to come out with a final product and make sure it works. Yes, they do have different regions that you can reassign and change, but shit ain't working correctly. Right now, this is your best bet. Use the reassign feature in Exploder, sorry, Save Wizard, and everything should work out great. Didn't take long, with the exception of Final Fantasy 15. Like I said, I don't recommend that, and you should be good. Now, what I will say is that in the near future, I hope that Save Wizard adds another feature which would allow you to change the region of the save to make it compatible with your region. So, for example, it's taking a Euro save, changing it to a US save, and making it compatible with your game region, and you're good to go. When that feature is added, this program is pretty much complete. I don't have any problems with the save wizard, and I'm good to go. So, if you do it the way that I just showed you, you should be good. But as always, it's Mr. You Know Who from XMI Gaming. Check out my gaming channel. Thank you for watching my video. And if you have any questions, you know, leave me a comment below. I'll try to answer it. And peace.